A popular early screening test for the two deadliest cancers in men is falling out of favor. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force has concluded there's very little evidence to support routine screening for prostate cancer with a PSA test. Why? Here's Dennis Doda for Medical Edge. One in six men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer, making it the most common internal cancer of adult males. Now that's opposed to the lifetime risk of dying of prostate cancer, which is on the order of about 2%. So many people can, could live decades with cancer and not, not die from it when it comes to prostate cancer. It's an issue that has at times divided the medical community. How aggressively should we screen for a very common cancer which is often not life-threatening? The prostate is a sex gland that provides nutrients to sperm. It sits right below the bladder amid vital organs, nerves, blood vessels, and the urinary system. For more than 20 years, doctors have screened for cancerous tumors in the prostate by testing blood levels of PSA. Which stands for prostate-specific antigen, which is a protein that's actually secreted into the blood system by the prostate and it can be abnormally elevated for numerous reasons. Director of Research at Mayo Clinic's Department of Urology, Dr. Jeff Karn says such false alarms may subject men to unnecessary tissue sample biopsies or to aggressive cancer therapies that may not be warranted. Recent well-designed studies in both the U.S. and Europe have concluded PSA testing shows very little benefit for men with no symptoms of prostate cancer. Dr. John Tilbert says that may seem surprising. But that's the general feeling right now is that screening in the general population probably doesn't save a whole lot of lives based on what we can tell right now. Using the same logic, Dr. Tilbert says some doctors are beginning to rethink the value of the dreaded rubber glove exam in which doctors try to feel for bumps or tumors in the prostate. There's a very limited role for the snapping of the glove in the asymptomatic man, in my opinion. What's a health conscious guy to do? You should know advancing age, family history, and African-American ancestry put men at a higher risk for prostate cancer. Almost all guidelines agree men should discuss the risks and benefits of PSA screening with their physician to make an informed decision about whether to be tested. Of course, certain warning signs cannot be ignored. So trouble urinating or blood in the urine or other similar symptoms. And in those circumstances, you really just need to go see a physician and probably a specialist. Mayo Clinic is a center of excellence for prostate cancer and will continue its current policy of offering screening. PSAs will continue to be used to help diagnose prostate cancer when symptoms are present and to monitor cases of slow-growing cancer. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.